Now, we all think of vices as big, chunky blocks you stick on your table. But how much do you actually know about a modular system vice? Well, I'm here with Matt from MicroLock, who's going to tell us all about it. So, Matt, let's go. Well, we've got the MicroLock system, which we're well known for. It's been around about 30 years. We've got four different ranges, the 50, 60, 75 and 100. Relatively new is the hydraulic system, which you've seen on videos before. But it's a, a versatile clamping system designed for small to medium batch work. Why would I choose one of these over a conventional vice? Well, this will do everything a vice will do, but it does a lot more. With a vice, you're limited in the size of part you can hold, the opening. You always have to clock them in every time you want to use them. With MicroLock, you have a base plate that would cover the machine table and then the fixed jaws and moving jaws go on the grid plate in known date and positions. So it's all about saving time in setups, making it a lot quicker. Now, what happens if I buy the smaller vice, but then all of a sudden a big part comes through the door? Can I stack these? I exactly, and because you've got accuracy on the MicroLock base itself, you can clamp a very long part and you know that's going to be square and true to the fixed jaw. So it's completely flexible. You can move the fixtures to the back and use it to clamp very large, large parts as well. And again, you're actually, in a normal vice, you'd be doing one part at a time, but in this system, you're running two every time. Exactly, two, four, six, eight. You can run as many as you can fit on your table. And the tables these fit on, these come custom made from you guys to fit the machine requirements of the shop owner. That, that's right. Yeah, I mean, we do standard kit sizes that can be bought off the shelf, but generally we custom make the base to suit the machine. So, for example, a, a meter sized machine, we would put a meter sized table on it, and the holes would be mounted to suit the machine table it's going to go on. So, once it's on there, it locates, it would generally stay on there. So there's no messing around from my end that I get a plate from you and then go, oh, I've got to bolt this down, how no, do I drill it? it? It's all included, it all comes with a fixing kit, instructions, easy to, easy to mount. So anyone can do it? Anyone Lovely. can do it. Now moving well, on. If I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> now moving on, obviously, we've seen a lot of, let's call it plate work, it's quite thin stuff. Yeah. But now we're on to big blocks. Yep. So what is the clamping force used in these vices, which give me the confidence yes. that something that's, it, that's this small is still going to give me the strength and rigidity as, say, a conventional vice. Of course. Well, these, the standard 75 series is a 1.25 tonne, so they are very powerful. But it's not just about the power, it's about how the power works. So because we have a wedge action in here, by driving that forward, we call it a zero lift jaw. The sliding jaw can't lift, so you're getting a very flat and accurate platform on which to clamp off. Now with the biggest system we do, this is two tons clamping force. So obviously if you put two or four of these next to each other, you've got six tons pressing apart. It's not going anywhere. I don't even think I'd be able to get a part out of the vice with that much. No, no. Now obviously that's your modular vice system. That's the micro, that's what we manufacture ourselves in the UK. We're based now, in Cambridge. Now let's move on. Now, I've seen a lot of this system, but I've yep. never actually used it. So can you talk us through what it actually is and what it's used for? Well, this is the, the Copal work holding, and this is from, from France, from Copal in France. They've been around 50 years. They're very popular in France, a lot sold in the UK as well. We're relatively new agents for it, but it's kind of a way of, they basically make standard clamps and accessories that will bolt straight onto the machine. You've got your vertical clamping, you've got your horizontal clamping. You've also got things that are really ingenious like these chain clamping. So you can clamp and the power that these generate is like eight tons. So you can use it on massive machines to hold really round, large turbines. You sort of, you clamp with a, with a chain. So it's quite, it's quite clever. Now you've actually took my question there because I was going to actually ask you about the chain. Yeah, because yeah. Because I've, I've seen it used before, yeah. but I've never actually used it. And I always wondered why you would use that over just a normal clamp. Okay, it's, it's things like on big horizontals. You know, we, we personally use, have used them ourselves. And uh, if you've got a massive job that you want to hold in a V-jaw, but you need to have something on top, Something like this, it clamps all around the diameter of the part. So it's not just going to clamp in certain parts, it's clamping all over. 
so you you're generating the force throughout it so it's, it's very stable well that's a bit of a worry sometimes isn't it? if you're clamping a big round cylinder let's say yeah, yeah, yeah. with a clamp a top clamp not like this something. similar yeah, to yeah, this yeah, yeah, but yeah. if you've just got that one single clamp pushing down i know it's one gonna... little bit of movement no. the whole thing's gone where is this so obviously you you make the chain longer or shorter and then you have one of these that you put the other side that bolts down and you literally by by loosening this and it generates the force it generates is, is massive so it's something people should be looking into if they're doing if they're big doing, round work yeah yeah if you're doing big round work it's you know and they're, they're not that expensive either you're looking at a couple hundred pounds sort of thing for this sort of thing but that couple hundred pounds could save you thousands exactly. of pounds yeah, exactly. in a scrap job exactly but they do lots of other little clamps and accessories and end stops you've got the little edge clamps that can that are separate so you can use this to hold very large parts on a machine table and it's they're separate and you can move them around to hold you know two ton parts you know and it's all about just making work holding simpler exactly. and easier compared yeah. to like you said if you had to move big vices you've got to re-clock them in re-clock yeah, the exactly, table in but yeah. with these just on and off fast simple you're getting the machine cutting quicker you're making more money Exactly. I mean, with Copol, it's about standard parts. It's all stuff from a catalogue that's on the shelf. You can have it very quickly. Away you go. With Microlock, obviously, it's more of a long-term clamping system to suit a machine. Whereas this is odds and bod just to help you out doing your existing sort of fixture. Now, you said about using this system on horizontals. There was one question I forgot to ask you, actually, about the Microlock. We'll move yeah. on to your pneumatic... Uh, vices, but yep. just quick on the micro. Is it just no, for three axis I, millers? I didn't say that and I should have done it. And in fact, most a good half of our turnover over the last year has actually been on cubes. Very few people can make custom cubes in the UK, and we can. And we can make them anything from sort of 150 square by 400 high up to um, 630 square. A metre high, so we can make very large cubes. And again, we machine the microlock into the faces of the cubes. It can be four-sided or two-sided, and then all the standard vice systems sit on that. So yeah, we again, we have standard sizes to suit 400 and 500 pallet machines. But again, we can make anything to suit customer requirements. And I think that's it. It's that customization. Yes, yeah. you can buy a standard vice, but if you want something special or bespoke, yes you guys can do that as well exactly we um, and we can be very we can do quickly we can make a cube within four weeks you know you can't buy one from a from abroad in that time so again speed delivery it's all there exactly. now moving on to your pneumatic these vices. are pneumatic uh self-centering vices yeah we, we do a big range of them ranging from your 50 mil and that actually fits inside a 50 mil square so you could put hundreds on a on a little thing if you wanted to you've got inlets in the front and you've got them underneath and you can see simply again this is designed i guess around automation having a a robot next to the machine picking and placing and obviously using the vice that can be plumbed into the machine into an m code clamp unclamp and away you go these have, have been very popular this week the first time we've showed this in the in the uk is that something you're seeing a lot more about automation? Because obviously, at the moment with skills gaps and trying to get skilled engineers at the moment, yeah, which yeah. everybody we talk to is having the same problem. Are you finding that automation is coming, is coming up quite quick into people's minds and into people's workplaces? It, it definitely is. I've noticed it more at this Mac than any other Mac. Everyone is talking about how are they going to automate? They've got to automate. It's not like, oh, maybe I should. They all realise they have to. To stay competitive over the next 5, 10, 20 years, they're going to have to automate. It's the only way. The skill short, there's going to be a skill shortage we know about. It's the way forward. Now, there are obviously levels of automization. You can have a multi-pallet horizontal machine, a multi-pallet five-axis machine. You can have a robot sat by a vertical machine. There are so many ways we should be looking at automization definitely but then you're coming up with a solution for any way exactly we're trying to forward think and keep you know at the forefront of, of technology definitely now yeah. we're going to move on to something i've never seen before and i yeah. am quite excited i'm going to let you walk 
past me okay. because obviously the iPads at that side you okay. need to use. So, what are we looking at here? Right. Well, this is what we've called. Uh, this is called the Easy Connect. It's a multi-zero point system designed for very large vertical and machine tables. So it's not something you're going to put on a small vertical machine, but it is something that would go on a massive like gantry loading machine or, or bed machine. These come in 500 millimeter squares and they bolt onto the machine table and then you just butt other ones next to them. So you basically form a massive table. They all connect with these easy connect and what these is pipe the pipe the air through them as well as letting the control unit know what is going to be clamped and what isn't. Now I'm going to try and do this one handed. If you can unclamp it, I'm going to try and take this off one handed. Okay. Just to show how easy this is to get off once you've unclamped it. So you can well you can change the zone. So you've got zone one, zone two, zone you can change which one you're going to clamp and unclamp. So if I open there we go. The plate's a bit heavier than I thought. <laughs> I can also... Oh, so you could have actually helped me do that, but you didn't. No, that's for blowing the chips <laughs> off once it's, once it's off. So it's called an air blast. And then we, uh, then we clamp again. So obviously that must help again with automation. If you've got a robot taking a virus off, a part off, yeah, yeah. you can then using the machine blow the table off before the robot puts the next that, part on that's right and like i said this is designed for very big machines you'd probably have a crane loading and unloading the the parts onto the zero point with the zero point plugs all over so we've got that so this is new for the show first in the uk this one and then we've got our standard type five axis vices and uh, pyramid zero point system so here you would just put the standard workshop air on here and that would release each vice and so on so you don't actually with this system you don't actually need to have air plumbed into your table no, like you do no. with a lot of systems no that's the good thing about this system it's, it's a safe system so the idea is it'll run off standard six bar air supply which you'd have on your air gun you just literally the same supply push into there once the air goes on it releases the ball bearings in here and then you can take off all the parts. And then by as soon as you disconnect, it then clamps. Which obviously that's quite a big saving because how much does it cost to have a machine bed retrofitted with air, hydraulics, know, you, know what it, know. you know the prices. This, so this makes it, so you basically haven't got to buy a separate hy um, hydraulic pump or anything like that. So you, once you have that, it can work off, off anything. So if you take this sort of thing, for example, we've got a special offer on this for the show. That's £3,200, and that's for a four-pot um, zero-point system. Again, works off standard six, six bar, and that's a special offer we have at the show. Now, surely that is that could be, and I want to try and get this right. You might tell me if I'm wrong, but I'll try and get this right. But if you've got a machine shop who doesn't do automation, Surely that could be somebody's first step because if they've got two plates set with two vices, yes. stick your vices on, let it run, yeah. and then normally you'd be waiting around while you're unloading the vices. That's and then, right. It's but the now first you step. can just pull that in, take one out, put the next yeah. one on while that's running. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. That's what you do. You would have, you would set the next job up on a on the bench, and then you would literally just. As soon as your job's finished, you would take that off and put it on, away you go, very quick. And again, productivity... It's it, about it, keeping the spindle turning, isn't it? It is, isn't it? As, and, and, as you say. <laughs> like that. Okay. Um, but it, it, it comes back to that productivity as well. And yeah. like you said, if the machine's not running, you're not making money. No, you're not. And it's, like so, I say, the first, start, the first part of automisation is definitely a zero-point system. That is the first part. And then there are obviously levels from that onwards until you've got robot systems, loading machines and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Matt, I'd like to just say a big thank you to you for your time. Thank you. And Thanks for coming on. And I'd like to have a quick shout out to my three daughters, Charlotte, Hannah and Daisy, are going to watch this after school. And you beat me because I was going to remind <laughs> you because I, I was just going to. Um, and for everyone at home, thanks for watching.
Thanks all, for watching. And if you want to know how to get into automation, Michael Lock could be the way. Stand 1918.